brought sunshine to her life. Her pride and joy, she would climb 34 steps to reach Paul and Crystal's home and be with them. First, we will hear from Crystal, Cami, and Vinny's mother, wife to Paul, my sister's older son, who will read a tribute from her dad, <clears throat> excuse me, from her dad, who shared babysitting responsibilities with mommy. Um, so Crystal is here to join us. Hi, everyone. Say hi, Cammie. Hi. Um, as Tita Janet said, I, for those of you I haven't met in person, uh, my name is Crystal. I am Paul's wife. And we have two kids, Cameron, who's three, and Vincent, who's a year and a half, and he's named after Lola Daisy's father. Um, just want to say a couple things. Uh, every day, every day since Cami was born, Lola Daisy would come to help and spend time with her great grandkids. Uh, this past year, as everyone was working at home, uh, Paul was working at home as well. And that gave Lola Daisy an opportunity to spend almost every day with her grandkids. Although the pandemic has brought a lot of pain and heartache, I believe there's still a lot of small blessings. Patrick was working from home and he was able to come over more often and have lunch with Paul and Lola Daisy and the kids. And Nicole. And Nicole. Nicole um, moved in uh, for a couple months and she was able to spend more time with us as well. And this probably wouldn't have happened if our busy world wasn't paused. So I look back and see that as a special blessing that we were able to spend so much more time with Lola Daisy this past year. Uh, like Tita Janet said, my dad would come over in the morning to watch the kids and Lola Daisy would come in the afternoon and they would switch off. And Lola Daisy, every time she came in, you could see the joy in her face when the kids greeted her, especially Vinny. Vinny was always excited to see her screaming and just so excited. Um, and our house every day was filled with her laughter, laughing at something funny that Vinny did or amazed at something Cammie did. And every time, every day she came, she brought um, gifts or special treats for the kids, something as simple as a flower. Um, in the spring and summer, she would pick a flower every day and bring it for Cammie. Or she'd bring chocolate kisses or books or treats. Anything she thought that the kids would enjoy. She was just so generous that she would just bring something every day. I always worried about Lola Daisy um, coming up our steps to the house. If you've been to the Paseo, you know it's a journey to get all the way up the stairs and to the house. And I always worried about her going on the steps I worried about her being tired, um, watching a baby and a toddler. It's exhausting, but she said that they kept her strong. When I would come home from work, Lola Daisy would usually be on the couch, um, watching CNN and ha having holding a sleeping Vinny in her arms or she would be carrying Vinny on the porch, um, just enjoying the sunshine. 
And Vinny is 20 plus pounds. He's heavy. So he's heavy for me. So I know he's heavy for Lilla Daisy. And I would always tell Lilla Daisy, Lilla Daisy, stop, put him down. He's too heavy. But she would tell me, um, it's okay. I'll only be carrying him for a short while more. I always thought she was talking about Vinny growing up and running around. Are but you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> but um, looking back, maybe she was just treasuring those moments with Vinny and Tammy. Um, she had so, so much love to give. She loved her family. She loved her grandchildren. She loved her great grandchildren so, so much. Um, <laughs> and we loved her back. And I'm just happy that, and I'm grateful that Cammie and Vinny were able to give her some of her happiest moments in her last few years. Uh, my dad posted this week on Facebook when Lola Daisy passed away. And I'm gonna read it and share it to you guys. Tita Daisy, it's not fair you promoted me to full-time babysitting job. I already like our tandem partnership. Me? Yes, babysitting you. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, okay, big girl. I already like our tandem partnership, watching the grandchildren. I am a- uh, okay. okay, back to this. Um, I am AM shift and your PM. I will miss you bringing me palabok and samada and little snacks every time we turn over watching the babies. I will miss watching CNN with you and be bitter about COVID not being in control. And to those people who are considerate not to spread the virus, a simple mask could have saved thousands of lives. Not knowing that this will affect our family as you became part of the statistics who had fallen to this virus. I remember you always invited us to dine out on your birthdays. And the last birthday treat you did was a McDonald's at the Magallanes house since it's pandemic and we can't go out like we used to. Thank you for everything. You're such a beautiful and lovely person. I was there last week when you called from the hospital to say I love you to Cami and Vinny. Although you are catching your breath, I could feel the love you sent to the kids. Watch and guide us and the babies in heaven. This is also sudden. Rest in peace. We all love you. That's it, Tita Janet. Thank you. And thank you for everyone sharing what a wonderful woman Lola Daisy was. Uh, or you're muted, Tita Janet. We're, we're going to share now the video for uh, of Lola Daisy with Cami and Vinny. Get it. Oh, I should share it, right? Um, uh, can you guys see it? 
-hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I will um, make it bigger. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Sorry, sorry, that's not this one. Get it out, Jeremy. Sorry, that's not the one. That's for tomorrow. Jeremy, how do I? Sorry. Okay, it's this one. Okay. All day long. Okay. Now, what's next? Oh, Woo. the baby's on the bus. It goes, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The bell's on the bus. It goes, wow, wow, wow. All day long. Now, what's next? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, damn. People on the bus go. The parents on the bus go. All day long. Oh, we finished here. Thank you. Oh. I can be a chick and say. Quack, quack, quack. No, a chick. Say it. Do you see a chick? No. I can be a baby just like you. And what does the, how does the baby cry? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay. And who, now, who's next? Who's next? Beanie? Beanie. Oh. Oh. Okay, Kami. And Kami can be, whoa, zoo. I have spots. Don't you see? I keep Oh. What? Are you excited, Mama's here?
Are you happy? I saw you two playing. Buhay na to. Ang hiling kumain. You eat so much, Vinny. Hold on. Oh. 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 Are you driving? <laughs> Are you a race car driver? Oh, oops. Where are you going? <laughs> beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> um. <laughs> What is wrong with this boy, Tammy? What is wrong with him? Oh my God! Oh, gee! Oh boy! Ayon! Oh, Oh, what's that? Oh. What happened? Mm. Stop? Stop? Hey, R2. Dance program. Hey, R2. Game Wow. 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 Mm. <laughs> Just dancing without music. Ah. Oh, I can see Bokol coming. Coming soon. Bokol coming soon. Game mode. Hey R2, dance program. Oh, thank you, Crystal and Paul and Cami and Vinny. The wonderful video at Book of the Kids. Um, we really loved it. Um, I hold on.
sorry you were changing our uh, Wi-Fi connection because we are frozen. Okay, Jeremy, what's going on? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, we are we were changing our Wi-Fi connection because it was unstable. Um, anyway, I wanted to thank Crystal and Paul for sharing the the beautiful videos of um, of Lola Daisy and Cami and Vinny. Uh, so precious. Uh, just gives me tears when I see my mom and then I miss her again. But um, you can see how joyful she is with the kids and such a blessing. I think um, I've inherited that from mom. Um, I work for the school district and I've been teaching the two and, uh, two and three year old kids. And I do videos for them too for the end of the year so that parents can see how their kids are doing in our school because most of the day, like they're there from seven to five and most of the day is spent with us. So I, I would like doing videos for them and taking their pictures just gives them um, a sense of happiness too when they see the video because um, they see that their kids are well taken care of and they're really enjoying the school. So yeah, thank you mom for instilling in me, in me the love for children. And um, we're, the, the next part is we're doing, uh, Bingo, are we doing an open mic? Okay, um, we're doing an open mic again. So if you have um, anything to share, um, how you met my mom, how were you related to mom and how she has impacted your life or just a story about a funny story or anything that, uh, that comes to life when, when uh, you think of mom. So we're opening mics. If, if you'd like to share something, please feel free to share. Thank you. At night, looks like you're saying something, but you're muted. Oh, am I muted? I'm sorry. Um, where, where was it that you didn't hear? Oh no, um, Edna, I think. Oh, Edna, Edna, Edna. I'm sharing, okay. but she's muted. Um, Edna, if you can hear us, please, um, you're muted. So we just start from where you started. And then if you can unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm Edna uh, uh, Austria Rodis. I'm the daughter of Beying Belinda uh, de Vera Austria. Uh, I believe, uh, yeah, the, the the cousin of Tita Daisy. I wish I had more more times to interact or with Tita Daisy, but you know the rare times that uh, Tita Daisy are Tita, not cousin. Yeah. Oh, Okay, oh, well, yeah, with Tita Daisy. So I wish I had more time to get to know her more. But the time that she, uh, I've, I've met her, she, is, she was just so open and just so loving and just so, um, you know, just so caring that, gosh, I wish I could have had more time to spend with her and, and to get to know her more, you know. Uh, uh, the last time was when she went to, to um, you know, and when mommy was still sick, and then she went to Taralane, and we spent about uh, about maybe two hours, you know, visiting. Yeah, so that was my last time to see Tita Daisy. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Thank, um, thank you. Thank you so much, Edna, for that. Um, yeah, mom really liked to visit um, friends and relatives who, are, who were sick. So I think that was very hard for us because 
we didn't get the, to spend time with her in the hospital. But um, I think it's very hard for a lot of people. So um, we just have to uh, pray for all the other people too that are in the same situation. Um, Tita Bim wants to say something. Yeah. Thank you very much, Edna. And I'm so glad to see you and that you could share with us tonight. Uh, and I, I think the only, the first time, I, I don't remember, but it must be the first time I met you was at uh, Kuya Don's Memorial in uh, May, uh, early May of 2015. You came with uh, Rodel at the time um, and Ate Daisy and I are so happy that you could join us during that time. And I'm so glad that you're up and about now and you're able to be with us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Jen. Can you hear me? Hello. Jen. Okay. Hi, Jean. Hi. Oh, hi, uh, Jen. So I wanted to share something. Can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can. Uh, so, introduce uh, yourself. Introduce yourself. Okay. I'm Paul. I, my name is Jean Pinsai. Uh, I lived with uh, Jen's family for almost five years when I was uh, in UP. And kami yung mga, uh, you probably, I don't know whether you, uh, the rest of your relatives know this, but I'm one of the many na mga batang yagit who was fortunate enough to find Ate Daisy and Fort Bibi Mahusay. And uh, we were, we come from, uh, we, I came from the province and things can get really, really horribly wrong. But fortunately, it was a blessing that we found Ate Daisy and her family. So you remember this ko kay Ate Daisy. Uh, she was a uh, the kind of person who will who uh, yung sinasabi nila practice what you preach because hindi siya preachy but she practice and you just need to watch and learn from her so yung mga memories ko kay ate day It's her internet, so I'm trying to reach her. Um, yeah, it's hard when, like, we had the same problem. Let me see if you, she can read the message. Yes, you want to call her, please? Thank you. Uh, Tess and Jean um, were our borders at 43 Mahusai. So uh, I'm so happy to see them here. Um, Mom, just. One moment. Jen, can, yeah. you, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. We, we just, yeah, the last time we heard Jean was uh, uh, you, you practice what you preach, and you said that um, mom wasn't a preacher. Yeah, she wasn't preachy. So you can go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay, Tess, can you call her again? Because <laughs> we can't hear her. Uh, so that's why I'm asking Tess, because um, they're really close. They're from Bacolod, so they're both very close to each other. And like I said, mom considered them her daughters too. So um, I'm so glad they're here and sharing another part of Hi. my mom's love. Hi, Janet. This is Maki Lagmai. Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> Hi, Janet. Hi, Maki. Okay. Yes. We can yes. give the floor to Maki. Hi, Maki. Maki is from my, uh, from high school, from high school. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, express uh, 
I, I rather come to say a lot before anything else. Uh, Ellery's here. Oh, a lot. Hey. Oh. Anyway, I joined this uh, novena uh, upon the invitation of Manu Castro. Mm. And she told me that uh, no audio and for me to keep quiet. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I just have to say something. Because, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, your mom was really such a wonderful person. Your family has been very good to me. And, uh, you know, I know that your, I don't know, your father also passed away recently. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so not, um, but anyways, I just wanted to let you know and everyone, everyone else here in this forum that I'm here with you. Uh, Thank you. And uh, Thank yeah. You. I, I can always remember, you know, past old good times, and uh, it, it's it's time. Uh, eh, talaga, di ba? So anyway, I'm here for you. Okay, thank you, thank you, Maki. I didn't expect you to be here, but I'm so glad you also joined us. Thank you so much. Of course, why not? Why is Mili not here? You know, that's my question. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so. uh, I tried to invite her, but uh, she's busy, so. Okay. Anyways, anyways, whatever. Uh, okay. Say hello to Elot, Elot, and family for for me. Thank you. Okay, bro. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, is Jen? Jen. Yes. Okay. Uh, my internet problem, she So she'll oh, just okay. try tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bukas thank na lang you. Daw. Yeah. Okay. Tell her thank you, Tess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jen. So, Jen, yeah. who is? Who is Tonton's sister? Jean or Tess? Uh, si Tess. Si Tess. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Because Tonton stayed with us and the sister is with Ate Daisy. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I think Jean mentioned last night na nagstay daw sa inyo. Hindi ko nga maalala. Pero thank you, ha. <laughs> yeah. Tonton was with us at the time that you were with Ate Daisy. I remember oh, that very well. Pinaalala sa akin ni Jean kagabi when I was talking to her. Sabi yeah. ko talaga, nag-stay kay Lolo, Lolo, Lolo Pina, ay, Sabi ko, nakalimutan ko na. Oh, Thank so, you daw. During, at the same time that you were with uh, at Mausay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tess. Thank you very Thank much. You. Tatry ko magsalita. <laughs> Last day. Okay. Last day, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know a, a lot of People would like to share, but some some my my daughter was saying, "Mom, it can be so intimidating because you're like the only one. Everyone's focused on you." So yeah, we understand. So if you just have um, you uh, have you feel compelled to say something, it's it's an open mic. So we okay. will maybe just just brief. Because I think I'm not going to be Iyak na. <laughs> Mahina yung loob ko sa ganyan. <laughs> but I'll try sa okay. last day. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody else want to share, please? Or... Can I just say something? Yes. This is Tita. I, this is Tita Irene. This afternoon, I just I don't know why. I just remember. I think Daisy, your mommy, chose January nine to leave this world and go to eternal life. Is also the date death anniversary of our uh, first sist uh, first wife of our brother Don. Aurora Carino Bobis. She was there with Rory when she passed away on January 9, 1990. Imagine that's 31 years ago. And Rory died at the age of 42, leaving only uh, her husband, Don, and uh, Michael. So I feel fortunate in some ways because. For our Daisy live another 31 years compared to Rory who died 31 years ago. So 
I think we have to be thankful in most ways that we had Daisy with us all this time. Thank you. Thank you, Tita Irene. Yeah, Tita Irene was saying, I think your mom wants us to remember their, them both. So two for one, January 9. Uh, that's how mom is. She, she doesn't want the attention on her only. She wants to share. So yeah, she shared Tita Rory's um, death anniversary. Do we have anyone else who would like to share? <laughs> anyway, I just remember uh, when Tita was traveling, she went to Europe with four old ladies. I don't know who, if Tita Irene or Tita Bimbo was with them, but they, they took the train ride. They rode the train. Do you remember that story? I'm not, old, I'm not old bingo. I'm not the one. <laughs> um, it, no, was Lola it was Lola Yuki. It was Lola Yuki. They were tagged as a, they were tagged as terrorists because they had their luggages under the seat in the train, and then the, the four of them decided. I know Tita Lid was with them. Yeah, the Lid. four of them decided to move and get a better view. So they, they moved and left all their luggages on the seat. And then someone reported, you know, that there's a suspicious item that they had to, the train was stopped and then they had to let everybody out. <laughs> and all throughout these old ladies does not know they were the cause of the problem. <laughs> and they were like wondering why, why everybody was let out. But, you know, then the police came, all these things. <laughs> And the bomb squad, you know, <laughs> it was them because they forgot their luggages <laughs> when they moved to another coach. Oh my God, it was just a really funny story that Sita Daisy, you know, was sharing before. And we were just laughing so hard. Because, and then, you know, it ended up, they, they had to leave and then they were bus somewhere instead of riding the train. And it turned out they, they realized that the problem was them. <laughs> and their luggages were actually mailed out to them because they, you know, they had to do search it and all that. And oh my gosh, they and they forgot all about their luggages. And you know, it was just one of, of the funny stories. <laughs> so they were labeled as terrorists. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That was funny. Okay. Oh, you know, Dame and 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 Ate Daisy is not fond or is not used to locking luggages. Because I yeah. told her one time about that. Why don't you lock it? Why why do you have and then she told me about that story about that luggage that she has lost that same luggage many times. And she said, always <laughs> it's returned to her. The very same piece of luggage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She never lacks luggages. I don't know. I, because one time we were traveling back to the Philippines and I told her, Ate days, lock your luggage just in the conveyor before we claim them. You will lose all your pasalubongs already. You know, she's very, one, one character of Ate Daisy. She is very trusting, you know. She trusts everybody, trusting to people. Yes. That's why I told you she only looks at the good, good characters, good traits of people. She she's always very trusting of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a funny, funny story. Okay, this was uh, one December. Joy, I think, was traveling to the Philippines. She had a carry-on luggage with her clothes and Daisy had a carry-on luggage to go to my place. She's going to ride the train. On her luggage, Daisy's luggage was food, like daing, adobo, and things like that. So she was already on, in the train station in LA and then look at her luggage. It was Joy's luggage. So. Anyway, fortunately, she was able to take the taxi, <laughs> took the taxi, no. and go to LA airport and, 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 and found Joy. Excuse, yeah. 
Akirin, excuse. Yes. Because she always turned her cell phone off. So, you know, and that was the time she realized that you have to turn on your cell, cell phone, you know, because she had to call Paul or, some, or somebody who's taking Joy to the airport. That, that's why she learned her story to turn her cell phone on already. Okay, continue. <laughs> Anyway, that was just so funny. But she learned how to take the taxi from from Union Station, LA, to to the airport, and that's about forty five minutes. That was, yeah. I confirmed the the luggage. She does not care about the luggages. I have to buy her all the time at TSA. I have to do it because she refused to do it. Yeah, that other lost luggage was in uh, Florida. Richard said, okay, don't don't touch it, don't touch it, but she touched it and the luggage didn't come with, with us going back to San Diego. And she said, don't worry, it will come. And it did come back. <laughs> she's like, like Tita Bim said, she's very uh, trusting and really say, okay, that's it. Yeah, you, it will come back. And it did. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That made us laugh. <laughs> um, would anyone else like to share? Um, good afternoon. Ah, good morning, good morning. Pala dito. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, good morning and uh, good evening to everyone. I'm uh, Julius Kanha and I'm the son of Nane Juliet. And um, uh, my message is just kind of short, but it's very meaningful because um, we were very lucky to have met a person like Lola Daisy, even though we are not uh, bloodly related, um, we can still feel like uh, we're part of family. And um, we're truly grateful for her generosity for her cheerfulness and her kindness um, for letting us stay here in Fort Detrie Mahusay. And um, every time we visited the US, um, she often greeted us with, uh, with a big smile and we feel welcome in her home. And um, probably uh, it's our first time to be in the Universal Studios because of her. <laughs> she bought us tickets. <laughs> so that's the kind of uh, Lola Daisy that we truly look up for her. And um, probably, probably the last time I spoke to her, this is uh, three years ago, I think, when she visited the Philippines, um, she told me that, oh, uh, how's the professional student? <laughs> Because um, my life uh, basically revolves around studying. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, that's why she often called me a professional student. <laughs> um, right now, I'm taking my master's in marine science in UP Diliman. So <laughs> there. Um, and uh, probably uh, one of the things that truly marked her in our life was uh, how uh, she taught us how to appreciate the concept of reading. Um, every time she visits here, she brings uh, old books from her library. And, uh, and it's very helpful because uh, we were able to also give it to our nephews and nieces, um, different stories, uh, different um, concepts and uh, values that what books can offer to a lot of people. And it really shows, even when we visit her in LA, you know, she often gives us free books, <laughs> so yay. <laughs> and, um, and she also helped in uh, uh, selecting uh, uh, my uh, underwater camera because she really supported my uh, academic career. And uh, I've been able to use that camera in a lot of my field works. And I truly, I'm truly grateful for Lola Daisy for that. And um, on behalf of my family, uh, on behalf of my mom, on behalf of uh, Lola Bullet, and the rest of my family here in 43 Mahusay, um, we, 
would like to extend and express our utmost gratitude to Lola Daisy, to her family, um, to Tita Jeanette. Uh, I remember Tita Jeanette when we visited her in um, San Diego and uh, they were truly um, very hospitable to us. And, um, and I often, we often, my sister and I often pictures ourselves that when we visited the U.S. again, we were able to see Lola Daisy or we were able to see um, Tita Lele, bless her soul. But, you know, life happens. And the only thing that we could do right now is to um, uphold her memory and um, appreciate the life that she has shared for all of us, especially to those that are not really blood related. She let us feel that we're somehow part of her family, somehow part of her inner self. So we are truly grateful. So on behalf of my mom, who is not here because she's currently working, she's attending to her um, alaga. Um, we truly uh, extend our gratitude and, um, and uh, uh, we are truly thankful for Lola Daisy and family for giving us this kind of love and life that we cherish us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julius. That was so sweet. Yeah, my mom loved you guys. You you knew that. Um, bullet has been uh, bullet. Um, her his um, aunt well, has been with us since we were little, and mommy knew that she took good care of us. So I think it was a two way um, relationship of love. Um, our family and your family. So we just um, blend in together as one family. So thank you so much for that. Um, um, my hugs to Wallet um, and to Joey and to Valerie and to Nestor and to John Neal. Oh my gosh, John Neal was the baby in our family when we were still there. Um, and now he has three sons, right? So yeah, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Thank you so much. Um, do we have anyone else who would like to share, please? Okay, bingo, I think uh, I will give the mic to you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, let's take this size or just deep breath and come back to our bodies and just remember the love. Remember the love and we know at the end of the day, it's love and gratitude that will keep us moving forward. That's what Tita Desi gave us, a lot of blessings. Um, I want to read a poem for Tita Desi. And, you know, we've been praying the Navina um, since the time of her death. And we've been asking for light to be with us, to be with her. And, and so I just want to share this poem. It is written by Jan Richardson, Richardson from the book Circle of Grace. I cannot tell you how delight comes. What I know is that it is that it is more ancient than imagining. That it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us. That it loves searching out what is hidden what is lost, what is forgotten, or in peril or in pain, that it has a fondness for the body, 
for finding its way toward flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, and the heart. I cannot tell you how delight comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming or arrive in the shape you did not force. And so we, and so may we this day turn ourselves toward the light. May we lift our faces and let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it takes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. So, as we hold this light in our hearts, as we hold the light for each other, as we hold the light for Tita Desi, I'd like to close the evening reading one of Tita Desi's favorite um, Bible passages, Psalm 23. Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they will comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Tita Desi, thank you for all the love you've given us, for being the light, for being our shepherd, for being with us in our darkest days, and I know you are now in the feast of God. You dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you. And we bless you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Thank you, Bingo. For the past um, days, we've been getting messages from people who have lost a loved one, a friend, a coworker. And we also have messages from people who have friends or loved ones who are still battling. So um, we'd like to pause for a moment of silence, if you are compelled to say the name of a friend or a loved one, just unmute and we will all join in praying for them. Uh, we will all join in lifting them up to healing and our hearts are with you because this is a very difficult time for everyone, one way or another. Um, we've been hurt by this pandemic. So yeah, you can just say their name or if you just want to think about them and, and just pray over them that 
they will be safe, that they will heal. And if they have gone before us, that they will see the light in the presence of the Lord. For Lita, um, Tita Emma's friend, and for Tito Arthur's co-worker, Elise. Lita is battling COVID right now. She's in ICU and Elise passed away along with her husband. Rest in peace. I pray. I pray for uh, an inaanak who passed away because of COVID. Her name is Angelica Castaneda. She passed away in August. She is only 30 years old. So we pray for, I, I pray for her, uh, the repose of her soul, and also for a classmate, Marilu Sarmiento, as well as an office mate, Angie Huang. They all passed away because of COVID. I'd like to pray for uh, Ronnie Magianis, the brother of my father, and uh, Bayard Subaki Jr., uh, the brother of uh, one of my coworkers. I'd like to pray for my class, my batchmate, my classmate since uh, kindergarten, Pearl Quino and who passed away December 26, and his brother, Joey Quino, who passed away December 7. Both of them passed away of COVID. May they rest in peace. For my mother-in-law, Mary Jo Collins, who passed away at the beginning of COVID, while she, was, she passed away with cardiac and pulmonary failure, we believe that COVID took her because she was tested positive post-mortem. May she rest in peace. I pray for the healing of my co-lion member, Annabel Calalo is now battling um, COVID-19. She's now in the hospital um, in uh, Marikina Valley Medical Center. We pray for her healing and recovery. And for those who are in our hearts, we pray for them. Lord, hear our prayer. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Um, we, we really appreciate your gift of time for all your, for all your words of comfort and um, for all the blessings you give to our family because you, we know that um, you're joining us because you love us and we love you too. Um, please stay care and always stay safe and good evening and uh, good morning and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.